What's up guys, it's Kevin with Right Cells. Today I just wanted to show you guys a quick video on how to recalibrate your flaring tool. So when you open up your box, everything that you're gonna need to recalibrate this uh, tool is gonna be right here inside your case. So if we pull out this little plastic bag that comes in the pouch down there, we're gonna see an Allen wrench. We're gonna need this to recalibrate our tool. Also, down the bottom of the, the kit, you're gonna have your flare gauge. We're gonna use our flare gauge after we're done. Uh, checking our flare. So first up, I have a stick of half inch copper. I'm just gonna start by putting our flare right up to the stop there, and then we're gonna slide it down into our tool. So a lot of times we get questions when we come into distributors that guys are bringing us their tool, and their tool looks like this when they're going ahead and pushing down onto the copper. Now what happens when the tool's like this, there's no resistance against the, the copper, so they tell us that the copper gets pushed out the back. Now we want some resistance when we go ahead and clamp that down to hold that mechanism in there to be able to make the flare. So what we can do, if we take a look, we have a little hex bolt right down at the bottom here. That's what's gonna be able to change our sensitivity of the flaring tool. Now you can see right now the, uh, the hex bolt, it's pushed out of the face plate. What we want, we want this hex bolt here to actually be just inside of that face plate. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in there. Now it's right underneath the face plate. We're gonna take our copper and we're gonna go ahead and slide it in, clamp it down. Now we can see that quite isn't quite enough resistance. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do one more little quarter turn on there. Now let's take a look. Now we have it, you can hear that snap in. We're gonna go ahead and start our flare. Now we have our flaring tool here. So how our flaring tool works is we have this little ridge right at the inside of our flaring tool. To make a perfect flare, what we want is our copper to fit inside there, but not fall all the way through. So right now, the flare is done, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this open and take a look at our flare and see if it is good or not. So we're gonna take it, slide it down into the gauge, wiggle it around. It's not falling through, but it's fitting right inside. Now we know our tool is back in calibration, so you're good to go. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're more than happy to help you guys get your tool back in calibration.